Hello everyone, Nubkex here, welcome back to Nub Raids, and in today's video I want to dive into this question of guaranteed champions and how good or how bad their value is compared to, in particular, pulling in 2x events, right? 2x events where our chances for pulling epics or legendaries is actually doubled. Uh, right before we dive into that though, also a nice bit of news, we got a new promo code apparently, which is DK... Skeleton Crew. Spelling is hard. There we go. Cool. <laughs> what a promo code. Oh my goodness. So you're going to get a Death Knight, a regular common Death Knight. Lovely. Three three star chickens, two two star chickens, 40 brews, and 300,000 silver. So <laughs> that's quite a funny pack. I'm going to be honest. I think that's quite a meme pack, quite a troll pack. You can level up regular Death Knight. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. That's a good fun. So yeah, there we go. But anyway, let's dive into this. So for example, right now we've got Turvold who's on for 80 guaranteed, uh, 80 void shards. You get a guaranteed Turvold on your last shard. Doesn't count against your Mercy timer. He's the second time we've had a void legendary. The previous one was for 90 shards. Well, how good are these? So let's whip out the old blindingly white spreadsheet. Bam, here we go. And let's dive in. Let's dive in. Uh, and also, let me get up the uh, guaranteed champion list as well. I forgot to actually get this up before uh, we started. Yeah, here we go. Great. All right. <clears throat> so I think there's some really interesting things to happen when we look at that as well. So first of all, let's break down some of the generic chances. What we're going to do, we're going to start with the example for ancient shards, right? So with ancient shards, typically speaking, the guaranteed event requires 150 ancient shards and you get the, the specific legendary on your 150th. How well does that work out? Well, this is how it works out. So for, uh, if we come in here and, oh, okay. Well, it's not gonna look quite right. I'll have to fix it up afterwards. If we come in like so, if I grab these and like so, there we go, that made it work, perfect. So if we come here and we look at the event, we'll look at the chances, right? So for a 2X event with one and a half thousand ancient shards, it's gonna look like this, right? You've got a 1% chance per shard to pull uh, a legendary, right? It goes up from a 0.5% to a 1%. So on average, you will typically get 15 legendaries from one and a half thousand ancient shards. You're gonna get 15 legendaries out of it. That's how many you're gonna get. Now for a guaranteed event, how does it look? Well, actually the first thing we need to do is to put in the chances for a non 2X event. This is what makes it kind of spicy here. So by pulling in a non 2X event, you're gonna get half as many, obviously. You're gonna get about seven and a half legendaries. The half, you know, that half legendary really being valuable here. Uh, with a guaranteed event, you're gonna get one after 150. And we're gonna be able to do for 150 for a guaranteed, that's 10 of these different events. So you're gonna get 10 legendaries, which is going to give you a total of 17.5. So for a non 2X event, uh, which is usually what happens. Not always. Sometimes they do have a guaranteed champion event overlapping like 2x events and, and stuff like that. But generally speaking, they don't. But basically, you're going to get 15 legendaries if you pull 1,500 ancients in a 2x event. You're going to get 17.5 in the guaranteed. And we put that together and it means you're going to get 2.5 legendaries more. That's a 16.7% increase, which is fairly substantial, actually. It's a good chunk of extra legendaries. Now, the big downside, the big thing that you're going to miss out on, I think there's two big things. The first one, you're going to miss out on a lot of epic champions, right? You're going to miss out on a lot, a lot of epics. Uh, I actually didn't pre-calculate this, but you're going to miss out on an extra 8% epics. So if we take like, let's say 1500, and multiply it by 8% for a quick figure, you're gonna miss out on roughly, it's actually kind of crazy. You're gonna miss out on about 120 epic champions. That's a huge amount of epic. So you're gonna get far fewer epic champions for a small increase in legendaries. Um, so raise the question, is this worth it or not, right? Is that worth it or not? Um, one thing we're gonna return to as well though, after we look at all of these, we will return to the question of the mercy system because that does have, in my opinion, a fairly big impact as well. Let's look at the other shard types first. So void shards, how do we look for void shards? Well, here we go. It's gonna look something like this. So what I did was I took 900 void shards 
So in a 2x event, again, it's a 1% chance. These are functionally the same as ancient shards, right? They're functionally the same. You've got the exact same chances. A void shard is just a purple ancient shard. The chance to pull a rare is the same. Chance to pull an epic is the same. Chance to pull a legendary is the same. They are functionally the same. Obviously, mysteries and sacreds function differently. So a void shard, it's it's giving you the same, same uh, chances for these champions. Uh, in a 2x event, 1% chance you get 9 on average. You typically get 9 legendaries from 900 voids. In a non-2x, you're going to get 4.5. Then we throw in the guaranteed. And the guaranteed, I'm putting it in as 90, seeing as uh, they did Reho Bone Spear before for 90. This time, Turvold is for 80. I'm going to put it at the higher value just to give us a ballpark figure here. So I'm going for 90, and you would get 10 guaranteed from that, which brings you to... Um, Brings you to a total of, drum roll please, 14.5. And now this is pretty staggering, right? So for 900 voids, 2x versus guaranteed, you're going to get 5.5, 5.5 legendaries more, which is a 61% increase on void legendaries. That's a pretty massive difference like it's absolutely huge so this one really stands out far more above the others the funniest thing about this is that every time every time i talk about guaranteed voids being really good value at 90 compared to your chances of a legendary without fail i get not one not two but usually multiple comments of people completely disagreeing uh but i mean the, the facts are right here you get 61 percent more legendaries that's a really big deal uh, we'll just start the sacred shards and then we'll talk about the implications. Obviously the drawbacks, because I'm giving a pretty positive thing. There are some drawbacks to this for sure. We'll talk about those as well. So let's throw out all the sacred info just in one fell swoop here. Boom. So for sacreds, fairly straightforward here. In a 2x event, uh, you're going to get have a 12%. Uh, uh, is that right? Is it? It's not right, is it? Uh, no. It is. It is. Good. Okay. I, I thought for a second it was 16%. No, it's 12. So we're right. That's fine. Just double checking. But yeah, 12%. So you're going to get 18 legendaries on average out of 150. In the non-2x event, you're going to get 9. And then guaranteed, it's usually 1 after 15 sacred shards. You're going to get 10 out of that. Which is going to give you a total of 19. So this is actually a really small increase. This one is really nothing special at all. You're going to get... Oh my god, what is this? It, it's so annoying how it copy and paste some of these boxes across and not others. It does really wonky stuff with the boxes anyway. But you're going to get one legendary more, which is only a 5.6% increase. Now, it's still an increase. It is still an increase, but it's not that drastic. Um, so yeah, there we go. Overall, that's how things are looking. Let me actually zoom in a little bit more so you can see it even better. This is how it looks. I think it's pretty intriguing. Now... Certainly one final positive point, well, actually not the final, but another positive point about this is bear in mind that they sometimes, sometimes do cheaper versions. So in this case, Turvold is one after 80. So you're getting, you're going to increase your amount of guaranteed champions at that rate. Uh, we've had guaranteed champions for 120 ancient shards before. We've had guaranteed legendaries for uh, 12 sacred shards before. Uh, so those are actually much better deals. Your increase in legendaries gained is going to be higher for those cheaper events in terms of the shards. Um, <clears throat> another sneaky positive thing as well about the guaranteed is this. There's a lot of bad luck protection built in, okay? So this is particularly when it comes to the mercy timer. So you've got a mercy system. Let's look at ancients and voids first. They both work exactly the same. Again, they are functionally the same. After 200 summons without a legendary, you start getting a stacking 5% increase per shard. It keeps stacking up and up and up. So you're guaranteed a legendary 100%. You'll have a 100% chance built up after 220 summons without a legendary, okay? So that's how that works. So the interesting thing about this is... When we come into the two times events, you got a 1% chance. So on average, we're typically not coming anywhere near our mercy system. We should be, on average, getting a legendary every 100 shards or so. Um, now, for some people, I mean, sometimes you're going to get lucky and you're going to get more than that. Sometimes you're going to get unlucky. You're going to get less than that. In fact, it's going to be fairly rare. You're going to get exactly 15 legendaries out of 1,500 ancients. There's a really good chance you might get 14. You might get 16 maybe even, you know, 13 or 17. And then obviously the chances to swing further and the other sides get lower and all of that. But typically speaking, 
you're not going to see your mercy timer affect things all that much. So you can potentially be very unlucky. You can be lucky. You can get more. You can have a good positive streak. Um, obviously, everything averages out the larger the sample size. But you can also have a, a pretty negative streak. You could get really unlucky. Uh, I did I did a thousand void shards the other day. You can check out that video and we got very unlucky. Again, we were expecting 10 legendaries. You can watch the video to see what happened. We got a lot less than that, right? We got unlucky and that can happen. Now, when it comes though to the guaranteed, you've got a much better chance because we're only expecting to get one legendary every 200 shards. If we start getting unlucky, we start getting less than that, less than one legendary for 200 shards. Well, the mercy system catches you then, right? If you start falling, if you pull 200, you haven't got your legendary, you go, oh man, I've missed out on my 0.5% chance here. Well, this is where your thing starts, your mercy system kicks in, you start to catch up. So you do have, again, some potential to be a bit luckier than this, you could get more, but it's actually quite difficult to get less, <laughs> right? Your, your number here can't go that much lower. So you're basically, it's bad luck protection, essentially. The mercy system's gonna protect you. Uh, like out of one, in fact, let me tell you the exact minimum. You divide uh, 1,000, uh, one and a half thousand by 220. So the bare minimum you could get is 6.8, right? 6.8. That's the minimum because that's what your mercy system kicking in. So you can't get that much worse. Now, the bare minimum for a two times event is also 6.8. If you got as incredibly unlucky, the chances are minuscule, of course. But if you got incredibly unlucky and you went the full way to 220 shards, the full way into Mercy System before hitting a Legendary. Uh, so there's much better protection for bad luck with the guaranteed events. And it's the same across these different... Well, it's the same with Void Shards. It's different for Sacreds. Same with Void Shards, different for Sacreds. So that's, I think, quite, quite intriguing. And that definitely pushes up the value of the guaranteed for these a bit more. Now, the other thing to consider as well is that with the guaranteed, they have yet to repeat a guaranteed event. Let me actually bring this over and let me show it to you. So these are the guaranteed champions that we've had. There has never been a repeat. So by going for guaranteed champions, this could be a, a pro or a con, you're always going to get something that they haven't given out before. So if you don't have many legendaries, you should basically nearly always be getting something new. It's fairly unlikely you're gonna get something that you've already got in that sense. Whereas obviously pulling in just a two times event, it's much more open. Uh, one criticism you could certainly throw here is that they rarely put like the best of the best in here. Uh, I don't know if that's quite true. They've put some really good champions in here, mind you. I think Sissia is incredibly good. Kandrophon, incredibly good. Nekmo, incredibly good. You know, uh, not to mention these others. There's a lot of pretty good champions. Lady Kimmy was in there, you know. There's some really good champions that do get put into these guaranteed events. It's usually more like A tier champions, like champions that you'd want to pull for. They're cool, but they're not completely meta defining. Sometimes they put in pretty weak ones, like Heliore's been pretty underwhelming. Uh, Vizier isn't that crazy. Gamoran's pretty bad. For 150 Ancient Shards Gamoran, that was probably the worst one they ever did for legendaries. Um, Turvold that we have on right now is pretty underwhelming as it is right now. He's not that good uh, compared to the other possible things you could get. So sometimes there's like B tier, C tier champions. Mostly it's A, sometimes there are S tier champions. That's something to bear in mind. I also think it's something of a difference uh, between these, these types as well, something to watch out for. I feel like the sacred guarantees, they give you the worst increase. However, they don't cost you that much in terms of epics. We mentioned with the ancients that you're gonna lose out on like 120 epics. It's gonna be similar, but proportionately a bit less uh, for the, vo well, I mean, like, the proportion is still the same. Let me actually get you the exact numbers. So it would be um, 900. You're gonna miss out 8%. You're gonna miss out 72 void epics going for guaranteed voids as opposed to, um, to pulling in 2x events. So you're missing out on a lot of epics, right? Going for these. Now, when it comes to the sacreds, you're not missing out on epics because the sacreds always give epics, right? So you're actually gonna get almost the same amount of legendaries and almost the same amount of epics. Um, that doesn't change too much you're not gonna be super protected by mercy because the mercy system for sacreds is actually really weak. It's gonna help you a little bit. It's a little bit of bad luck protection, but it's not, nowhere near as good as it is for the guaranteed events for ancients and voids. So that's definitely something to watch out for. Uh, I think the reason that this one is still something that can be worth considering is just because the sacred guarantees tend to be very good champions. So Nekmothar, Sissia, what was the previous one? Kayoku, 
with ear. Um, they tend to be really, really good. I guess Helior is kind of a, a, a standout here as being not very good, but the others have been extremely good, I would say. Uh, they're some of the best ones. Um, so that's something that's definitely worth considering. The sacred guaranteed events often give really good legendaries, like really good ones. Um, so there you go. But you're not going to get that many more legendaries by going for it. I, I, I feel like you don't need to feel too bad about pulling in just 2x sacred events. You're not missing out on that much. And then when it comes to ancients and voids, I think it's fairly straightforward as well uh, in terms of decision making, at least in my opinion, where I think it really depends on the epics, right? Because yes, you are going to get a good chunk more legendaries going for ancient guarantees, but not enough more to make a crazy game changing difference. You're going to lose out on a lot of epics. But when you get to the point and you'll hit this point reasonably, you know, not too crazy far in, maybe like a year, year and a half in, you might get to the point where you don't overly need that many epics from your ancient shards anymore. You're really hunting for legendaries. You're not hunting for that many epics. Maybe a year and a half in, you know, when you're, you've beaten Faction Wars, you got through a lot of the content, there might be a few epics you want, but not that many. It's not as important anymore. Then you might want to start focusing on the legendaries. And then this starts to get actually pretty good uh, because that bad luck protection and all the rest. With Voids, it's the same concept, except it's going to be much further into the game, probably, when you don't need any Void Epics. And Void Epics are extremely good. So you definitely don't want to miss out on those Void Epics early on. But it's definitely something worth considering once you've got the Void Epics. Um, I think it's worth considering looking into the guaranteed events pretty soon. It takes a long time. There's typically been a Void event like this. The last one was in April, right? We had Reho in April, and now we have Turvold at the end of August. I'd expect the next one probably for Christmas is my guess. I'm predicting that for you right now. Okay, so we had... We had the, uh, uh, with, uh, blah, blah, blah. I, I think they've planned this out way in advance as well. The 26th of April, they had Riho. The 26th of August, so the, the fourth month, the eighth month, four months apart, the 26th of August. What's the 26th of the 12th month? It's the 26th of December. They might do it on the 25th or 24th of December, but I would really ex strongly expect a guaranteed Void Legendary for Christmas. So consider if you want to start saving now, if you are far enough in the game. If you're far enough in the game, you can consider saving. Um, it takes a while, but it's something to consider. I, I would guess it could be a Christmas-themed one. They might do Guaranteed Torment. I think that'd be pretty appropriate for Christmas. Um, they could do a guaranteed Sir Nicholas. I mean, that's even more appropriate for Christmas. Uh, Sir Nicholas is, is okay. I think Tormund is, is pretty damn good, very useful for Arena, especially in Doom Tower Hard, that sort of stuff. So they're both, I, I'd say Tormund is better, but yeah, anyway, it sort of gives you a gist. So there you go. That's sort of a, hopefully a, a, a nice overview of these events and what is going on. I think definitely the biggest downside for these is that, the 2x events happen very regularly, right? They happen very, very regularly. And you can just pull whenever a 2x event goes on and you don't feel too bad. Another thing to note, actually, I forgot, is that they often overlap. The 2x events often overlap um, with, uh, nearly always overlap with uh, uh, champion chase events, that sort of thing. So you can get maybe some chickens, some legendary tomes out of it. Not a ton, but it does add up a little bit. Um, so that's something, that's definitely a perk as well. You might be it might be worth stockpiling just for those right maybe skip every second 2x event so you can max out uh maybe every second or third one might be worth doing too um but yeah it's um let me know what what do you guys think let me know what you think uh i was certainly kind of surprised to come in and see honestly i saw that ancients is actually it's a decent increase like it's good but it's not like insanely better. I feel like you don't need to feel too crazy bad about skipping it. And the same thing with Sacreds. This actually was much worse than I thought it would be. It's still okay, but it's not completely crazy. And then Void Shards really is what I expected. It obviously is completely crazy, just in terms of the Void Shards that you have to spend in order to get a Legendary. The big defining question, I guess, the biggest weakness, which we will end on returning to the start of the video, really, which is the specific champion. Like Turvold, not that good. If you don't want or need a specific champion that is guaranteed, then that can be a bit of a drop. I mean, the worst worst case scenario, you just wait until the next 2x event. It's not that big of a deal, really. Um, but it is possible that, you know, the guaranteed champion maybe isn't good. You expect them to be good, but they don't turn out to be very helpful. 
So that can be a little bit of a downside. And for example, pulling 80 vo void shards for Turvold is going to be obviously slightly lowering the chances to get things like, you know, Seafy or Warlord. Those really OP legendaries, the chances to get them are lower because we're investing sort of our shard chances into a Turvold as opposed to a 2x event for like pulling something random. So there you go. That's basically the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Hopefully it was interesting, gave you some insight uh, into why, for example, why for me, I'm definitely going for Turvold. I don't have him and why I am keep saying that this is a really good deal. I just think I needed to make this video because I keep saying this is a good deal and I get so much pushback on it. So I wanted to just break it down as clearly as I could, 61%, like why this is so good. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.